out of the dozens that I have looked at, I have found seven to be extremely helpful. These seven GPTs could help you grow your business by saving you time, making your business content, helping you do research, and at the end of the day, they help you get more profit in your pocket. So watch to the end because I saved my favorite GPT of all time for last. So the first one we're gonna talk about is something called the negotiator. So this one is called the negotiator. So in chat GPT, you'll see this thing that says explore GPTs. And so if we click that and open it into a new tab so I can preserve this, you notice there are all of these things, they call them custom GPTs. And these are created by everyone. You can even create a custom GPT if you'd like. We've made them. Producer Nick on our team here at the channel has made them. And I've used them for lead generation. I've used them for all kinds of different things. So I've made a custom GPT and it has brought me in a ton of subscribers to my mailing list. But yeah, they're in here and you can use them as an end user and you can create them and share them with others. So this is also called the GPT store. And we're gonna be talking about the seven favorite ones that we have today. So we're gonna move the, that and come here. And the first one is the negotiator. And the good negotiator is an official GPT. It's actually produced by OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT. They created this themselves. And here's how this GPT describes itself. Here we go to about, and you can see here, I'll help you advocate for yourself and get better outcomes and become a great negotiator. So that's the purpose of it. And with this GPT, you can approach your next deal. So in business, you're always negotiating. You're always striking deals. And whether that's with vendors, sometimes with customers, maybe business partners, um, all kinds of reasons that you're constantly making deals. And so with this, you can practice and use it to come out on top. So let's play around with it for just a little bit here. And so they gave some examples. Could you role play a salary negotiation with me? Could you prepare to negotiate for a car purchase? Walk me through figuring out, I don't know what BATNA is, but okay. Can you manage my emotions? How do I manage my emotions when negotiating? Let's try that one. So we click that one and it's gonna give me some tips and advice on managing emotions because you have to be logical when it comes to negotiating. You can't let your emotions take you over or you lose the negotiation, right? So then we can get advice. And then I think we can even come in and give it some specific scenarios. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the negotiator and I'm gonna ask it. So let's do this. So let's do a new chat with the negotiator and let's just ask it. And let's say I'm mid negotiating for a, for the purchase of a new business, which is true. I'm doing that right now. I want the owner to drop the price, oops, by 50% and accept some seller financing. How do I do this? Okay. So this is actually a real world scenario that I'm going through right now. So it's going to give me advice and uh, it can even role play with me if I wanted to get into explaining how I might use it. Pretty darn useful, especially if business negotiating is something that you're a little rusty at, or maybe it's new for you. But uh, yeah, it'll role play, help you figure it out, help you come up with the right presentation to make, the right offers to make, and help you negotiate the best possible deal for you. Now, coming up to our second GPT, this is Canva GPT. So you can use it to make social content for your business use it to make a lot of different things actually, but let's take a look and we'll dive in especially for social content. So let's take a look at that. So here's Canva GPT and Canva itself, you might be familiar with, it's a great resource for making designs in your business. So whether it's graphic ads or whether it's images or different elements of things you might use in social media, but anything to do with designing graphics of all kinds and even doing video and slide presentations, it can do a lot. So Canva is a great resource for all kinds of things in your business. But with the official Canva custom GPT, it got a whole lot easier to do. So here's how the GPT describes itself. So let's take a look here and look at their about section. Effortly design anything, presentations, logos, social media posts, and more. So that's pretty cool. So you just give it a text prompt and you get an instant Canva design. You can make YouTube thumbnails, Instagram posts, logos, presentations, 
et cetera. So let's go here and let's ask Canva, can you make a social media graphic for me to use on the gram for my dog training business? I'd like it to be about helping dogs walk on a leash. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's gone to work. It says, please hold on for a moment while I work on this. So Canva wants to talk to ChatGPT, so I gotta give it permission. So I say allow, and it's doing its thing. I'll give it a moment here to uh, finish its, its talking. So it's done there. There is my design. I'm gonna have to click it. There it is, right there. That's pretty cool. So I now have a graphic that I could use on Canva. And if I click it, it's actually gonna open the graphic right up in Canva where I can edit it. So I can actually edit this. So let's say I wanna edit this and just come right in and now I can change it to whatever I want. Let's say I wanna make this text bigger. We'll make it even bigger. I am not a designer, so please don't judge me on my, <laughs> on my design skills here. And I'm colorblind, which makes it even um, more fun to make designs. But so we can change the text color. We'll change it to red, whatever that is, orange, peachy, or whatever that color that is. So you get the point. So I can come in here, I can add more text, I can do all kinds of things, and then we can save it and export it out of Canva. Or if you like it right here, straight out of the custom GPT, I can right click it and, and save it. So we could save that um, straight from uh, chat GPT as well. Cool, right? Now, GPT number three, which rhymes apparently, is a thumbnail maker by NVIDIA AI. You can make thumbnails for your YouTube video. So if you're doing YouTube marketing like I am, then you can use this to make your thumbnails. Let's take a look. So here's the thumbnail maker. And this one lets you make really good YouTube thumbnails with just a single text prompt. And let's take a look at the about. Thumbnail maker says that it generates eye-catching thumbnails and, and videos by AI. You just ask for a thumbnail, let it ask you some questions, and you're good to go. Now, if you have an NVIDIA account, it will make you an AI-generated YouTube video to go along with your thumbnail. So let's play with this. So we'll say, I wanna make a thumbnail for my video, and absolutely, it's gonna make my thumbnail for me. Let's see what we need to do here. So I'd be, let's start off by the title of your video. So let's actually see if we can make a thumbnail for this segment the seven most profitable custom GPTs help easily bring profit into your pocket. I think that's long for a YouTube video, but I just made that up as I'm sitting here. So I'm sure we're gonna change that before we launch this video, okay? All right, it's actually given me a recommendation of what to put in my thumbnail, and then it's going to gonna actually generate it. Let's see what it does. So it's described what it wants to do and is there asking me if there's anything I want to do different? And and I'm not going to change anything. That sounds great. Let's just see what it comes up with, please. Hey, it's making me a thumbnail. It can't possibly be that easy, right? Let's let's see what let's see what it comes up with. I'm a little skeptical, but let's find out what does it actually make. Oh, there we go. So let me scroll up so we can see it. All right, well, that's okay. Let's see. Do you like any adjustments? Um, Let's see what happens if I say, please make the colors louder and add some text. Okay, and let's see what it does. And the cool thing is if it doesn't come back with the perfect one out of the box, we can keep talking to it and we can keep refining and adjusting and improving until it gives us what we want. Yes, now it's gonna make me another thumbnail. And so by going back and forth and, and working with the GPT, you can come away, even if it's not perfect, you could take download the image and pull it into Canva and improve it on Canva that we just talked about in the previous one. So we can actually get it to create our YouTube thumbnail, pull it into Canva and then finish the process there if we so desired. And so let's see what it's making for me. Okay, this is interesting. This might work. So there we go. There's our example thumbnail. And if I wanted to drop in, let's say, let's say I had a, a picture of me. I wanna put my face on it. I could drop a little profile pic of me on here maybe put a, an arrow or some other text on it if I wanted to, but that's not a bad start. Okay, next up, innovator. So you can come up with clever ideas, brilliant ideas for your business with this custom GPT. Let's take a look. So innovator, it 
we'll go to about innovator it helps you brainstorm smart ideas to solve the problems that you have to address in your business so here's how the custom gpt describes itself it helps generate good ideas so to get started you just hit the button that says i want to generate an idea to solve a problem and i'll walk you through a quick five-step process to come up with the idea to to do here so let's take a look so it's going to help us solve a problem in just five steps and let's see here and i want to generate ideas to solve a problem so we'll start there please share the problem space you're interested in and i'll help frame it in an open-ended questions for us to explore let's say my youtube thumbnails don't seem to be getting many clicks as i'd like okay let's just say that is the issue we want to address heck anyone could use more youtube clicks right based on your concern about youtube thumbnails here's a list of questions that aim to address the broader goals how can we click click through rates how do we make youtube thumbnails more engaging how do we optimize youtube thumbnails to capture the target audience's attention and these questions resonate let's say number three especially great choice now move on to phase two we're going to start by generating 10 original ideas to address this question so it's going to brainstorm and it's actually doing some analysis and it's going to give me 10 ideas on how to actually better tap into my target audience so i can create thumbnails that'll get higher clicks and better results and so this could be done in any sphere let's say for example you're running youtube ads and they're not getting the results or you're running ads on Facebook and you're not getting the results you'd like. Or let's say you're doing search engine optimization or you're having trouble with WordPress or whatever trouble you're running into, things that you want to improve, come on over and talk it out with Innovator, this custom GPT. It's pretty cool. So it's doing some work. It's created a document. It's searching the web to help me find some answers. And let's give it a moment. And then we'll move on to the next. Okay, so it's asking to move on to phase three. Oh, I see. So here are the ideas. There's the 10 ideas there. It did something a little weird. This is not the way I, I expected it to respond, but we got our 10 ideas right here on how to actually improve targeting for our audience. So we can copy all of this and paste it into a Word doc if we wanted to. So those are our ideas and those come from it doing actual internet research as well. Then here, okay, wow, it gave us actually 10 more. So we got 10 ideas and then 10 more based on, on the research. And no, I'll just say no. I'm gonna continue analyzing and go through that. And so for the sake of speed, I'm going to, here, we'll let it do its thing, okay? So I, rather than playing with this one, we're gonna, we're gonna let it finish out its own thing and we're, I'm gonna move on to the next one. So with that GPT, we can actually debug, problem solve and improve our business in almost anything you could imagine. Now with that, let's move on to GPT number five and that's Scholar AI. And you can have chat GPT do academic level research for content. So let's take a look at this and I'll explain how you would use it in your business. So here's Scholar AI, let's go to the about. An AI scientist, that sounds impressive, right? Generate new hypotheses, analyze text, figures, and tables from 200 million plus research papers and books, okay? So this is Scholar AI. And in this example, so we was playing with this a little bit ago, but in this example, let's say that you have a business that is in the, could be in a health business. It could be a business where maybe you're selling supplements or you have training or guides that help people with nutritional deficiencies and you want to source official legitimate documents. This will do it for you. So many times for things that are, uh, um, you know, scientific, if you're looking for studies and so forth, AI has a hard time with that. It actually is known to do what's called hallucinations where it will make stuff up, will lie, it'll get things wrong. But with Scholar AI, you can use it to actually comb through hundreds of millions of books and academic papers. And it's actually what, where ChatGPT would normally hallucinate. It's going to give you legitimate sourced good information. So let's say you're writing content on the effects of caffeine on sleep. Maybe you want to write a blog post or an article about it. But you could use Scholar AI to help you find all the research on the topic that you can reference in your article or in your training or in your whatever documents you want to make. And for this one, 
you will need to make a, an account with Scholar AI. It, they have a free plan, but let's take a look here. So we did previously, we said, find me studies on sleep. So again, and then we it, so it did exactly that. So here's a study on sleep assessment, sleep disordered breathing, sleep apnea. And so let's actually try a new chat. And let's say, for example, please find me studies that support taking creatine to preserve muscle mass in the el elderly. So I actually am a, a, a nutrition buff and I'm very into things like this. I actually have a, a business that uh, is in the health niche. And so this is something, a, a very real world example of something that I might need to write about. And so this would be the example of taking creatine, which is an amino acid, which is not a drug or any kind of weird thing. It's just an amino acid that you can take that has been proven to help you retain or build muscle mass. So let's say I wanted to write an article about the benefits of people that are getting older taking creatine to preserve muscle mass and have improved their longevity. So it is actually gonna now go out and source my articles for me. So do you want, it wants to talk to Scholar AI and it's gonna come back and give us our answers. There we go. It's come back with several studies that are going to support the hypothesis of my article that I want to want to create. So I could literally copy and paste this analysis into the bottom of my article. And I now have sourced relevant information that back up my content because obviously I'm not a doctor, so I can't, if I'm writing an article, it's based on my understanding as a layman. And so now I have referenced studies that I can quote in my article, or let's say I'm doing a course on a topic that like health that really could use some scientific backup, so to speak. Um, you now have a way to use AI with this kind of stuff without the fear of it hallucinating. Six is email subject line GPT. And I love this one because I love email marketing. So email marketing is one of the most profitable things that you can do in your business when it comes to marketing. And this custom GPT will help you come up with subject lines, which are vitally important because if do somebody doesn't open your email, of course, they're never going to read it and they're never going to click and they're never going to give you money. So the first battle in the email marketing game is to get them to open the email. So let's take a look, get ideas for your next subject line. Pretty simple. So here, let's say, give me 10 subject lines for an email about taking creatine to improve longevity. Stay on topic here. We'll, cover, we'll stay on the same topic and let's just see what it comes up with. And so it's doing its analysis. It's going to come back and uh, hopefully give us, give us some good answers. Okay. 10 subject lines. Here we go. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I can tell you just from my experience in email marketing that several of these have a good shot at getting good results. That's pretty darn good. So if you've ever struggled to come up with a subject line to send an email, whether it's a marketing message, a content message, whatever it might be, come check out this custom GPT. It just might do the trick. Now let's move on. We're going to go to the GTP number seven. And this is my favorite one on the list. And that's newsletter GTP by pushbutton.ai. That's right, that's me. I'm the founder of Pushbutton AI. So we've created this to help you make your own newsletters. And as I'm a little biased because I made this one, but it has to be my favorite custom GPT in truth. And that's because newsletter GTP helps you come up with a newsletter and write out all the issues that you might want to send out. So it actually creates all of your newsletter content and can help you build your whole newsletter. And the reason I'm such a fan of this is because newsletter marketing is powerful. It's profitable. And when you do it right, it can bring in a lot of money into your business. And I would know because I've brought 
literally tens of millions of dollars into my businesses using email. So you just ask it a couple of questions and the GTP will do all the work for you. So let's take a look at it. So I'm gonna pull it up next. So here is the custom GPT. And to, by the way, it's free. You could use it. All we ask is that you be a subscriber of our newsletter. So all you gotta do to get access to this custom GPT and to use it yourself is to go right now to pushbutton.ai slash subscribe. That's pushbutton.ai slash subscribe. And every subscriber to our free newsletter gets access to this custom GPT where we can help you make your own newsletter. So sign up to the newsletter to make your own newsletter. <laughs> and so let's take a look. So let's say I had a newsletter that was about longevity. So we'll just stick with that topic, okay? So we can say here, help me create an issue based on current events from the web. So I wanna write a newsletter that I can send to my email list to have some good content. And you can see it's asking if we're a subscriber. If we're not a subscriber, it's asking you to go subscribe. We've confirmed we're a subscriber and now craft a compelling email around specific topics, okay? So it says, can you share with me the main topic or industry your newsletter covers, your target audience, any specific sections or content, tone and style, okay? So we're gonna say, um, my topic is longevity for people 50 plus who are interested in supplements and life style changes they can make to live longer high quality lives okay i'd like to talk about creatine and chlorine in my newsletter i happen to know there's some recent studies in literature that's come out about both of those and we can say i want it to be casual conversational and written at the sixth grade level boom now let's see what is it going to do fantastic it's actually writing my newsletter so we could literally copy and paste this into a newsletter episode or ep a newsletter issue. It's given us basically an outline for our newsletter right now. And then it's asking that we want it to proceed. So that's our outline. Oh, I, I said the wrong thing. Never mind. Please proceed. I should have said to proceed with what you have. Okay. So it's actually going to write it now. So I'm a, the first step was that it outlined it to tell me what it was going to write. And now it's actually writing it for us. Now you could combine the power of the last GPT to source some uh, source content and probably feed it into this one to make sure that your content is even better. That, so it's like mixing and matching some of these custom GPTs. So it's going to go through and it's going to finish writing our episode for us. So then what we can do is copy that content and send it to our list for some email newsletter content, all written by a newsletter GPT. And to remind you, you get that by being a subscriber. It's free, it's complimentary to anyone who subscribes to our completely free newsletter called Ingeniosity. You can get access to that by going to pushbutton.ai slash subscribe, which will then unlock access for you and you can get great content from us we send out an episode every Friday where we cover modern marketing and AI in the use of business today. And so we'll, every week we'll be highlighting a specific strategy or a specific tool and how you can use it in your business. And it's totally free. Custom GPTs are incredibly powerful, as you can see. And that's something that you need to be paying attention to. Go check out the GTP marketplace, the shop of GPTs that has been created by OpenAI and go find some ones that you find useful and share them with me. Pop them down in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite GPT is for use in your business. I wanna hear, and if it's something cool, maybe I'll feature it on a future episode. So yeah, share your favorite GPT down below in the comments. And of course, if you got value, from this video, please give us a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm to help us push the channel so that YouTube knows that this content is useful and is worth spreading around. And we do content like this all the time. 
And we're live every week with a live show as well. And so subscribe to the channel. You'll also see down below in the video the subscribe button. Tap that subscribe button and come join me on a future live episode. And until then, bye for now. So for those of you who are not yet a Push Button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Push Button AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top, everything you need from your domain name to your logo, to videos, to audio lessons, an entire course that you can sell as your own, a 30 day email sequence and it writes, you can send a daily email for 30 days, all written by AI and a whole lot more. It writes your sales page. If you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff, it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, Push Button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. You'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you, and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business.